For science today, we're going to do a bit of review. It's been a little bit since we've done science. We've been doing social studies for two weeks now. Um, we're going to switch back to science, and I just want to take some time to review what we were learning. So we were talking about, um, in science where we left off, was talking about the daytime sky and the nighttime sky. You guys made observations about things that you see during the daytime in the sky, and you also made observations about things you see in the nighttime sky. So what I want to do today is just go over some of those things. So over here on the left side, there's some pictures of things you see in the daytime sky. We have the sun, we have the clouds, and sometimes you can see the moon during the day. Now, the sun, we talked about how it changes positions in the sky. We talked about shadows, things like that. And the clouds and the moon are just some observations that you all made of things that you saw during the day. And at nighttime, here are some things that we see at nighttime in the nighttime sky. You might see the moon and you might see some stars. Those are two of the things you might see at nighttime. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna learn about something called a Venn diagram. So this is a Venn diagram. And what a Venn diagram can do is it can help us to see things that are unique and things that are the same. So over here in this circle, it says daytime sky. We're gonna put all the pictures of things that belong in the daytime sky. And over here in this circle, this white part, we're gonna put things that belong in the nighttime sky. And in the middle, we're gonna put things that go in both. So I have some pictures on my screen. I'm gonna show them to you all. And we're gonna sort them and put them where they belong. Over here on the left side, we have a sun, a moon, and some stars. Let's sort these where they belong. Does the sun, do we see that in the daytime sky or the nighttime sky? If you all guessed daytime, you guys are correct. So I'm gonna drag it over. The sun belongs in the daytime sky. So we're gonna put it over here in this circle. What about this picture of the moon? It has a blue sky and there's a moon. Does that belong in the daytime sky or the nighttime sky? If you guess daytime sky, you are right. There is a blue sky behind it. So we know that that is during the day when the sun is out. And the other pictures are black, so those are going to be the nighttime sky. Let's think about the clouds really quick. Clouds over here, is that daytime or nighttime sky? We see clouds during the daytime, so we're going to go ahead and put that out over here in the daytime. And then we have a few more pictures that we're going to sort. So there is a picture of a moon with a black sky behind it and a picture of the stars. Let's start with the moon. Where does the moon belong? Daytime sky or nighttime sky? If you all guessed nighttime sky, you are correct. And let's look at the stars. Do we see the stars during the daytime or the nighttime? Nighttime. So let's put those over here. I have one more picture. Sometimes, if you guys um, have gone out and observed during the nighttime, sometimes you can see clouds in the nighttime sky as well. The moon puts off light and then kind of hides behind the clouds, which lets you to see them. So sometimes you can see clouds in the nighttime sky also. So I'm going to put that over here, the nighttime sky. So over here, all the things we see in the day sky, we see the sun, the moon, the clouds, maybe some birds. In the nighttime sky, we see a moon, some stars, and sometimes some clouds. So now what we're going to do is we're going to think, what is the same about the day and the nighttime sky? What is something we see in both the daytime and the nighttime sky? If you said the moon, you are correct. If you look over here in daytime sky, we see a moon. So I'm going to drag that over in the middle because we also see a moon in the nighttime sky. They just look a little different. The nighttime sky has a black background because it's dark outside. And the daytime um, sky picture of the moon has a blue sky because it's light outside. So both in the day and the night, we see a moon. Now let's think, is there anything else that we can see in the day sky and the night sky that are the same? See some stars over here, but I don't see any stars over there. I see clouds here and I see clouds here. So we could move these pictures of the clouds into the middle. These are the things that the day sky and the night sky share. They both have a moon and sometimes you can see clouds in both of them. So 
in the day and the night you can see the moon and the clouds it just looks a little bit different because it's dark at night and light in the day assignment today on the next slide you guys are going to click where it says click here it will take you to a google form and you're just going to answer some questions about what we reviewed today about the daytime and nighttime sky